I mean? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so, anyway, I read on the internet that your real name is Bernard Gordon. Don't say that name ever again. Well, I was just, I mean... That man is dead to me. Dead, do you hear me? That's why I don't have a driver's license and have to travel by limo and private jet. When the old me died, I really felt I could do something. I mean, I have been so blessed, and it is my duty to give something back as an artist and a human being. Listen to this. That treat will appear on my last album, playing a sacred animal skin tank. Great blood, really spiritual blood. With the money he got from his quarter of 1% water from the last album, he got himself a submarine. <laughs> Dumb boss that lives in the jungle. I mean, that's not freedom. I don't know what it is. Okay, so anyway, let's take a break. Liberty City Free Radio. We will never sell out to the corporations. And now, for some more underwriting. Sal, how's it going? Oh, fucking Ben, man. Just great. Number one, the new mayor is fixing so I don't get bail. Number two, we're stuck fighting the goddamn triad the Diablo. Number three, I hear that the fucking Yakuza are gonna make a play to take over the city. Other than that, everything is just peachy. After all these years of mob control, we finally flushed it all down the crapper. Boss, I can take care of everything. The Yakuza have got a load of weapons in that Patria. Nothing can stop them now. We'll see about that. that saves everyone. I agree. And the rant in the movie about backdoor hacking and the fudge factor, incredible. That was a metaphor from the deep bowels of hell, man. There was a guy last night in the chat room bashing the mainframe, and I had to flame him. I love flaming lamers. Anyway, let's take a break, get some propaganda going on. The number one board game is now a fully licensed video game. Vivisection's Lab Rat Kart Racing. It's better than all those other licensed kart racing games because this time, you don't die of boredom, you die of anthrax. Video games and education meet in this incredible package as you race, chase, and scream your way through a twisty course that bears a marked similarity to all the other kart racing games we made. You won! Cool, you advanced to the next level where you race on the same track again! Play Vivisection and Lab Rat Kart Racing today. Ages 5 and up. Rated T for Terminal. CFR. We bring opinions, so you don't need them. Welcome back to the Electron Zone, brought to you by the House of Tomorrow. Yeah, peace, love, and unity, and death to all non-believers, man. It's a revolution out there. Yeah, tech revolution, and the revolution is coming to a retail store near you. You know what, Steve? They've been saying it for years, and it's finally happened. Robots are taking over. What was that called? In the future, there will be robots? Modern dance, you lamer. LMFAO, -er, but yeah. Right now. That's right, the robot revolution has begun. Pretty soon we'll all have devices planted in our brain which tell us when to eat and when we need to go to the toilet. I was surfing about it yesterday. Yeah, but robots won't be big machines that look like people. Instead, they will be small things that exist inside other machines telling it what to do. A lot like modern machines, only robotic. That's the future. Just like the present, only completely different. Hey, let's hit the phones. Converse probability wave. Hi, this is Ken. I'm calling from Carson City. 
I've got a problem with my internet connection. Okay, what's the problem? Also, here's a long story, medium length. I keep downloading these pictures for my body, and the FBI keeps turning up at my house trying to arrest me. I was just looking at pictures. I thought the internet was anonymous, and now everyone knows I'm into exotic things. What is this? Culture? I? Me? Listen, dude, we're all one. Get your hands off me! Here's the kill. So I have uh, several toasted meat pastries coming out of my microwave. Whatever for game, it's wrong. I made a screensaver about it. LMFAO and what I knew you are. Hunter. Who's on the phone? Hi, my name is Richard, and I used to be a journalist before the riot. I run a web page about the history of the internet. You know the one. Wow, that's so next gen. Yes, yes, but in the 24-7 digital culture, there's a problem. I might miss something really important. The question is, how do I surf the old ISH in the oh, shit, I don't fucking believe it. Waterproof and will function fine in the shower. Next caller. Hey, this drone. I've got. Kill him! Wow!
enlightenment's quite a trip. Yeah, nobody would think you used to attend a private boarding school, then you were a street urchin in London, then a sex Hey, Aye, I'm still rock and roll, baby, and I'm also caring. Oh, it breaks my heart. And trust me, Crow has a big heart. He's great, Fred. That is so great. Uh, you're not the first rocker with a conscience, obviously, but you certainly make a lot of noise about your work helping indigenous people. In some ways, we're all indigenous. Remember what I told you, Melissa, when I met you in the rainforest? You said this will get me the knighthood if I'm lucky. Yeah, well, it should. Born yeah. Uncle Crow, born Uncle Sue Sir Crow. Finally, Lord Crow of Crow. Humble man, but also a great one. So, anyway, Crow, tell me about the Crowfest 98. Well, it was a little idea that grew very big. Is this Mr. Cipriani? Who's this? How'd you get my number? If one puts their mind into it, one can achieve much. I shouldn't have to tell you that, Mr. Cipriani. I need your help in a delicate matter. For this help, you will be richly rewarded. I will explain when you arrive at my apartment in Torrington. Yeah, it's a very symbolic number. You have to understand the band is 25% music, 25% community nature, and the rest is... It's like this, you, you may say eating bark and shaman frogs and pouty lizards is for the elucidogens, but to me it's really... She said, Crow, you're a great man. 